What up, people? I got y'all right here on the four hourly. As y'all see, the last last to this video, the pattern has completed. Got that one, two, three pushes to the high, and now we're in the reset mode. And you can see this thing perfectly. To the way it came back up, hit that 100, came out at the 50, came out at the 20, and now we're just falling off the table. So basically, my thoughts is that you can see where we can stop that right here. Basically, where we previously already was. This is like this one. Two, second hit to the low. I believe we're gonna get a, a quick uptrend and hit you on the daily so I'll see it better. All right, on the daily, since we already fell below the 200 EMA on the daily, I believe we're gonna come back up and get rejected by the 200 EMA around 3,800. That is a possibility, or it may keep dropping. You know, it may not come back up there, or it may, you know, play around, trick, trick everybody one last time before actually dropping the markets. The basically what it's showing now is that you know we're at the second hit to the low like i say rejection and then we're down and going to the next zone now on the weekly as y'all can see we're basically right here at the 100 ema but we haven't came to the 100 ema like this like tested for support and about to break through it see what happened last time we broke through it you know it was a nasty drop but it actually literally started above the 20 ema but we already made a steady drop down so it's going and it's going to be the third drop on top of you see one two and the third one should come all the way down here to around fifteen hundred dollars that's what i'm saying that's why i believe the low is but it is a possibility that it could go lower but i'm just say fifteen hundred until you know what i'm saying until we get down this range and then we'll be able to make judgment by then but also we're coming down here our next real support level is this 200 ema to be honest and that's at like twenty four hundred dollars you know you feel me that's a steep drop so when this thing dropping it's gonna be pretty fast and also you know like cryptocurrency is crashing like every market is crashing and i'm showing y'all on these charts proving that they are but anyways like i said next real support level will be right here around this general range and that'll be the third hit down to low as you can see look, look much better on a monthly chart because it's literally right in the same area around 2500 right here though yeah say 2500 that'll be the 100 ema and then you know what i'm saying that that's when people don't think it's gonna be a reversal in the markets and i believe they'll make the that final drop as of when bitcoin hit 10,000, will be right here 5,000 will be right here recovery of all these candlesticks and I say, excuse me, not 5,000, 1,500. But I say it's possible we could keep continuing down because our next support level after that is all the way at 10,000. Well, excuse me, 1,005. Excuse me, 1,050. dollars I'm going to say 1,000 bucks. After 1,000 bucks, we're looking around $7. And two, excuse me, 725. I don't do this much, so, you know, the number's a little, little everywhere, but. Yeah, it's very possible we could come down to 725 to recover all of these previous candlesticks. But for now, I'm going to say 1500 because it's extremely strong support. Y'all can see any resist resistance. So we got to use this support. And hopefully, I mean, after we bounce off 1500, we got to, you know what I'm saying, make it above 100 EMA. Of course, it's not going to be up here by then, but you know what I'm saying? We got to be above the 100 EMA to, to confirm that it's a reversal of the markets, basically. So, yeah. Anything I just said is not financial advice at all. Y'all grown and make your own decisions, but like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.